This conference will now be recorded. Should I take name or do you think that we will? Simple, simple question again. What is a bug? Maybe I'll start um, with Swati. Bug is, but, bug, bug is nothing but a soft, like, you know, uh, error that gives a um, uh, different input other than the expected. A small error or a flaw in a program or in the functionality. Okay, good. Any other questions or any other answers? If an uh, uh, application is uh, not working as expected, uh, that should be that should be a bug. So a deviation from the requirement is nothing but bug. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Perfect. Yes, exactly. Expectations. Expectations. Okay. Any other answers? The bug is nothing but the unexpected. Uh, bug is nothing but unexpected expected result. Unexpected uh, result. Yeah. Okay. Unexpected result. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So while we were going through, we will also define the life cycle of it. Okay, so that you guys can understand any time what exactly this is. Okay. So any more answers? Swati, you still hear us? Sir? What is bug? Uh, it's an abnormal behavior of an application. Like whatever the expected is not as per the business requirement. OK, perfect. Uh, bug is an, uh, the deviation from actual, uh, actual result and an expected result. Okay, great answer. Almost. Somebody can give me an example. Guys, I don't need a rocket science answer. Same, same answer. I need to understand that you are getting it. If you are getting it, you can give any answer. Every answer is a great answer. Hey, Neha, you know what is bug? Uh, sir, uh, bug is an issue. Uh, or like an error that exists in an application that needs to be reported. Okay. We have around 26 people. If everybody gives one answer, it will be 26. I'll wait another another 30 seconds. Who so wanted to give? Is, so bug is something that is not working as per our requirement. Okay, good, Soumya. Bug is not something which is not particular. Please ask me. Bug is not the. Good, Sandeep. Sir, uh, yeah, bug is nothing but it is an uh, defect that is created in the software and which is not uh, intentionally done by the uh, developer. Then what is bug and defect? Are both same? Yes, sir. Both are, are same. Both and error is another one. Error is the one which is uh, which is done by the developer. That's an error in the program. But bug is the one which we see in the uh, software without any uh, intention of uh, the developer. Okay. okay. Before 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 we do that, right? Guys, if you're not speaking, please put on mute. We respect each other time over here. Okay, so before we uh, go to that, right? Why do we test any application? Why do we need testing? Um, in order to check for the functionality and whether it's giving the output as per the requirement, as per the client requirement, or it is uh, fulfilling all these things like compatibilities and um, performance to cross check before handing it over to the client. 
Okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, this is a scenario. Everyone has to answer it. Okay, uh, just just you know a very simple basic thing. Today, all of us has been built one software. Imagine there are 26 people here in this conversation we all put our best effort and we created a software or we have created anything xyz you name it whatever software hardware whatever okay and uh, we all thought on our first you know we, we thought you know that's going good it will be a market boom and all that we launched that software but it was never tested properly when i say never tested it means that when we started this requirement, we got requirement one, two, three, four, five, and 10. Okay, we tested basing on our experience, our knowledge, our, you know, whatever, uh, uh, with, with, with what we have. And it went to the market. And we agreed that, you know, you know what, this will be a great thing. It will work everywhere across the, across the globe. So let's put the software name is, you know, XYZ. And everybody was passionate to do it and they launched and they, they wanted to buy it or they, they tried free, free version and all that. The moment that they click it or they try to put input something, it's crashing their system. Forget our, our software. Because of our software code issue, something might have got into registry of the windows or linux wherever and system is crashed what will happen now so we 26 people have invested time and we everybody invested some of our money in order to thinking that you know it goes you know and we'll get some money but what happened after one year of time effort you know planning every damn thing under the sun we did it it did not work so now what will happen each one of you has a different perception now this is a scenario right you understand it so you can you can put it in your own way you know this is a question state question i'm just putting in a, in a simple way so that everybody can understand those who are from you know testing background or not or whatever now we spent time money everything so we got 100 or 1000 customers so what they will do to us what will be the impact what guys did i am i am audible okay yes sir so, so tell me now what will happen simple question you know will not will not waste your time because if you understand this the bug likes i feel bug error whatever you call it as you can understand everything here if you want me to explain one more time i'll put it but but you got it right so this one software we have created invested money time and everything we launched it we had a very good marketing strategy we put a lot of people and we have called a lot of celebrity and saying that you know what come we are launching something and we have paid them now but fortunately unfortunately the moment we launched it, it boom so what will happen now anyone any idea it affects the customers like okay what else and the reputation reputation yeah it affects the trust on on our products trust reputation correct what else the business may go down completely customer business may penalize us penalize us right sue us because of whatever reason you you guys are hearing these days you know iphone on iphone how, how many of you uh, you know go through the news and all that you know iphone company has been sued you know right for some reason why is that because slowing of their ios 
and they want you know people to upgrade their phone to a newer version that's one of the you know that, that's one of the examples so what i'm trying to say is here is credibility goes you know we if if you launch one another product after one year do you think that it goes no right so what happens is everything will be not only money not only credibility not only so every everything will be gone whatever we did so testing is very 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 important so how do we test is also very important that's the reason people ask what is your test strategy what is your test plan how do you do test and all that i'll try to cover you know in in few of the topics here that's what i'm trying to tell you guys so you got it right each one of you told you know um, money credibility you know issues trust and all that so that will affect so that is the reason we have to it is very important to test what we are developing see we need to be like customers we need to be you you think as a customer what happens what will customer if somebody launch we, we bought a new tv so before launching tv you know how much testing they will do it in all circumstances customer may be you know watching this tv in this you know angle or in this range or your remote should work or you know sorry guys i got a call so so uh, what i was telling is you know that's what happens right so we need to be very clear so this is where we need to be testing our software very clearly so when i don't know how many of you basing on the experience that right, we have a different strategy plan trace you know all all these things so very first thing it comes is you know, okay we got a requirement now uh, uh, if it is a tv we will be launch you know uh, our tv should work like you know our software should work as soon as we input it so we'll have a requirement again uh, there is a different uh, uh, you know strategy which used to play earlier it's a waterfall model means first they will give all the requirement you develop it and again they come back it's a waterfall means water is falling from one step to other step like we have a different phases requirement and all that I'll, I'll go, we'll go through that but on a high level what i'm trying to say is this is what why we will you know test our software or whatever things we do it so testing is very important when somebody asks you a question why do you think that you know we need to test and uh, we will will not have proper answers I, or maybe you know we know but we cannot put it in a right way now somebody summarize here and tell that you know what exactly what exactly why we need to test maybe Soumya you want to try so we test the software to know whether it is running as per the requirement or not and we want to fund find a, uh, we want to break the software sir first thing is up to that extent we are testing the software or an application it's, it's a good point Soumya. again guys if you are coming in this specific you wanted to get into a specific domain on atl testing your attitude should break the application you should make all your plan to break the application that is what you get paid if you feel that somebody launched it and they and and you know you are not able to show any defects then then it means that you are not a good tester so so good thing Soumya for bringing that up um, so you need to be very very clear so if a requirement has been given you have to think in such a way that how can this requirement on what circumstances in like you know how can you know we can break this application and we have to think in that way Okay, good, 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 Samia. And who wanted to go? Swati, you want to try? Why do we test software? <clears throat> or Meghna or, or yeah. Devesh? Guys, I want to hear something. I, I want to hear guys' answer. Otherwise, no point of putting this much effort, right? 
So, so uh, why? Uh, the whole concept of testing is like to test, the, to test the software, to uh, software product whether it's meet, uh, matching the um, sorry matching the actual uh, requirements, whether the output is matching the actual requirements, and uh, so that is the main requirement. Okay, so you generally say that you know why do we test because to we wanted to make sure it is matching with the requirement. Okay, who else wanted to add something here? Yes, Bob, this is Rishita. So it is uh, just to verify what is like the uh, what should be the actual uh, output and what is the expected output. What is the difference in that? That that gives us the bug also. Okay, perfect. How many of you certified here ISTQB or CST or any testing certification? Anybody are here? Yes, no, maybe. Um, no. Okay, perfect. Guys, think about it. Next three months, if you have some time, there is, uh, you know, uh, testing courses we have like ISTQB. That will really give you if you wanted to continue this for a long run. So just it will be around 4,000 rupees or 5,000 rupees. Something is there. You will get a certification from there. It's an online. It's 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 a good thing uh, where you they will ask you only on the manual testing all these things. So just note down if you want, if somebody wanted to do that. That will that will be a weightage uh, when when somebody getting. A, same profile or same skills or same experience and same roles, right? They will choose something like that. So, but, but think about it. Good. Uh, thanks, uh, Rishita, for that. Who wants to add? To test the quality of the application. Test the quality of the application. Thanks. For the, for, uh, for the customer satisfaction because the customer are the end users who will use our application so we should check whether the customer should not face any issues after launching of the application so for that thing we test we do the number of tests okay 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 anyone else is devesh here on on high yeah. level we can say that we can yeah, uh, uh, we want to deliver the software bug free good bug free and i can tell you 100 percent you know it is difficult that we can say that it's bug free software it may be a big debate but trust me we cannot ever say that because of that latest version latest lot of things right lot of things gets impacted so yeah we will make sure it is bug free but it's hard to uh, say that you know it's 100 uh, percent bug free from any any testing or uat standpoint Good point on that. Yeah, Devesh, any anything from your end? Yeah, uh, Prakash, uh, software testing is most necessary because the software will be, uh, as per the requirement we have uh, generated, but the expected output not given by the software. So for that purpose, we need to check every testing uh, point of that software for the fulfillment of our requirements. Also, and uh, software testing is necessary because Sometimes the requirement will be changed in the development of time. So if some changes will be happen, so that to check out in the software, we will need to check. I mean, the must needed the software. Okay, thanks, Devesh. Anybody I want to add? Guys, think about it. Don't think that Bobby is asking something or Prakash is asking something. Think about it. If you're getting this question, how do you tackle it? Maybe a very simple area, you know, who will ask this question? Trust me, these are very important things. When you go, as you go up ladder, right? So in your personal professional life, these are very, very important. And you are into testing roles, right? We have to be very clear. What is the point we are testing? What is that value we are adding to a testing team? If there are five people already testing it, why do you, why do you go there? Why do they hire you? What is the point and what the value will add it? These are the things you have to think in that way. Any points? Okay, perfect. 
so defect bug error those are all a different thing uh, i don't uh, um, have any specific you know um, exact meaning of that or a bookish uh, definition of that but you know i think you know you can go through it but on a high level you got it right defect so i'll ask you a question okay we all built the we are all are working for a same team and we are doing something like you know uh, a, a particular uh, uh software so now out of this half people are into development half people are into testing so i am in testing so i found one bug what i will do it right away report what a bug do we, do? we report a bug directly so you report a bug i found something i opened you know google chrome and put you know abc.com but it is going to cde.com i report a bug directly somebody said right so we yes. need to work on it you need to work on it what does it mean work on it means means we need to we need to check in the different platforms and the softwares good point perfect correct so whenever we found something we need to be 200% sure whether it is my system issues or is it something i am you know uh, i have a different uh, setup all together or the environment see there are different different conditions will have you know maybe you are working on different version of the os or you are completely on a different os or you maybe your browser may be a different version or or xyz reason so we make sure that is this happening once soumya said that okay bobby uh, encountered this putting abc in the browser it goes to def.com and then he checked in another system and it is fine so what happens now now you are sure that it is not happening on one system it is happening in two systems so you report a bug right right soumya okay so what happens once you report a bug what are the fields that we will input it how what is the so life cycle how it goes i'll explain okay so then i'll ask you question so now i found one defect so there is a bug tracking tool different tools we'll have together maybe alm maybe jira maybe blah 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 whatever so the process will be the same all okay as soon as i defect i i open a defect there are certain you know i am sure that you know most of you have a specific template how do we report a bug so if you wanted to report a bug you have to give a description okay you have to add uh, you know steps to reproduce you have to make sure environment you have to make sure test data you are giving you have to make sure all the expected actual results with the attached screenshot and which user have been logged these are all the important topics right so in any bug tracking tool you have to input this details okay so guys give me a one minute i ask somebody to join from you know australia uh, specifically for 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 you guys uh, to help on the agile okay uh, in the meanwhile prakash can you i'll be back in two minutes he's trying to reach out to me but i i did not send him that you know Prakash, can you just hold for a minute? You take it. I'll I'll come back in a minute. Okay. 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 So, what you observed the difference between error, bug, and defect out of all the discussion? All are not same, and this is one interview question also. What are the difference between bug, error, and defect? Uh, error we usually call it as if uh, if uh, anything happens in coding mm -hmm. side, uh, it is uh, not normal. I mean, if we found any any issue in the coding side, that we will call it as error. Uh, uh, defect uh, defect means uh, we are test while we are testing, we we find any any issues in that. Uh, but it is not yet confirmed that we call defect once we log the issue that will become a bug yeah this is my understanding correct me if i'm wrong okay 
Actually, POG and defect in many companies project inside they are telling a SAM only. Exactly, it is not SAM uh, with respect to interview perspective or if you are going for any certification exam anywhere. People are telling that is fine for easy, easy purpose. So whenever you are identifying any mismatch which is not matching with your requirement, maybe data mismatch or application, something you are expecting, it is not working, you are uh, giving all the 100% correct input only. In that case, you are aging a bug. So that is one issue. Defect is a issue, bug is a issue, error is a issue. Everything is one one issue or failure. So which failure testers are identifying, then they are telling or we have to tell that as a bug. For testing perspective or as a software testing QA person, if you are raising, that we have to tell this terminology as bug. Whenever developers are raising that or they missing something, error, it is coming code related activity, some issue happened or failure happened, then that is error purely for developer. And defect will come in the client place or customers. So everything is done, development completed, software testing team also completed their testing, release happened. And after release, some issue observed by the client who are the end users working that software application. They observed some issue. Then that is called as defect. Like small example, you purchase one TV or mobile or anything. So everything is tested already. Okay, so we cannot tell that bug or error or something, but if we are end user, we purchase the mobile, we are using now, after using one day, two day or three days, some program we faced. So that is not a bug, that is not error. We can tell that as a defect. I purchase one mobile which is having some defect because that is already released. So post release, we should tell that defect. But coming to the company side, all are telling bug, defect, bug, defect, that, that is fine. Thanks, Prakash. I'm back. So, so um, I'll, I'll I'll go through it real quick, and you know, um, so as we as we are going through, right? So once I open that particular defect, right, in an ALM, so what will be the status of that? So as I said, right, you know, saw me and I verified a system and it is not working as expected. Then I put making sure that I put the clear description and uh, uh, environment uh, uh, which environment i was testing it and and then make sure that you know i give the proper username password with steps to reproduce expected actual attachment and all so once we open the defect we have a status of a defect right what will be the status of a defect as soon as we open it new Anybody status new status it will be a new status thanks rishita so what does it new status means so we have reported this issue now this issue has been reported and this issue status is new what happens to once that uh, you know once you assign so once i assign this new defect i'll make sure that i'll assign this to somebody right who will be doing it maybe a development guy or a development lead or product owner basing on that it will come right are you guys with me so far yes Bob. yes Yes. yes perfect so 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 we have opened a new defect so what will happen so status is remember now we are going with the defect life cycle how it goes what is the life cycle of this defect so okay as soon as we have opened this defect uh, the status of this defect will be new so what happens after that the technology team verifies it he will say that hey you know what bobby you have opened a defect this is not a defect he can directly reject it right away or if he agree, we'll, we'll stay, take a you know, plain vanilla case where he agreed that defect and we'll move forward. So once he tests, verifies that, you know, Soumya opened this defect and uh, it has been, uh, it's a defect and he agree, he verified in a system and he said that, okay, it's a defect. Then he will change the status of that defect new to what? Open yeah. or assigned, what, 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 who wanted to tell, what was that? Assigned, if it is valid, then they'll assign it to someone. It will be an assigned state. Okay, perfect, okay, correct, exactly. So as soon as it is, it is, it is, uh, you know, uh, opened it, so it will be an assigned status. What will happen after that? So now uh, half of the team is uh, into testing half. So the the development team for example prakash is in development team and he verified that it's a defect and he'll make sure it's it's it will be assigned to someone right 
so it will say that you know uh, uh, one of uh, Sw he is assigned to swati imagine what will happen after that So the this is the status of assigned, the one who is assigned to it will work on it, uh, and in this stage, in this stage, it will be put it as open. And once it is like the required uh, change is made, then it will be changed to fixed status. Exactly. So uh, as Prakash has assigned it, and it will be an open state. And if he is fixing it, he will put it as in progress or fixed, whatever the status right once it is fixed and uh, prakash said that okay it is done now it will deploy it and he change it to ready for retest so what first when we open a defect it was in new then it went to assigned then it went to fixed or open open after open fixed and he said ready for retest now it comes to our code right it comes to testing code so testing people now Soumya uh, uh, checks her defect saying that it is in ready for retest so what do you do, Soumya, once you see that? Sir, uh, once it is assigned to me, I will verify it, sir. I will test okay. on that. So you will make sure whatever you tested it, you will test back, right? Now, now the defect earlier, you put abc.com, it went, it's navigating to def. Now you retry it in abc.com, it is going to abc. So you find it's good. So what you will do now if it is working as expected what the comment you will put it and move, make it so it is working then you will close this defect right yes sir. so now what is the defect life cycle of a plain vanilla case new open new assigned, assigned. open fixed six. Six. ready Test. for retest closed Okay. okay so there are different probability stages are there so we will go through it but but on a high level you have to understand if any anybody ask you what is the defect life cycle this is very plain out of one to five this will be a one you know where what we are talking about you should tell them in such a way that what happens if it is if, if a developer is not accepted uh, if it is rejected how do you handle such cases Maybe I'll ask you, Rishita, seems you're working, right? What happens if, if, if you know what, I have raised a defect and development team straight away rejected? What is your next steps? Um, if it is uh, like an actual bug, then I'll try to replicate it in different environments and again provide them correct, uh, like all the correct details and re-escalate it. If it is a... Uh, if it is like an actual bug, but if they state that this is what expected and this is how it's, it, it is, then uh, we are going to close that right away. No, you are 100% sure that's a defect. And you okay. identified twice. But it's not what, it's not occurring, coming every time. So he told you, you know what, Rishita, you are saying that you have given me a screenshot. Can you show me on your system? Yes, and yes. He, brought, it, you know, he will make sure... He will make sure product owner, business requirement, everybody is into, you know, in that meeting and you are sharing that screen. And unfortunately, you are not able to find that. What do you do? I mean, if it's an intermittent issue as such, then uh, when I replicate, I'm just going to provide him the screen recording also, like provide the console errors, what I'm getting uh, when I found that issue. Okay, but but now now see open defects cannot go to production, right? You have to close the defect. Tomorrow is the production date. It's you feel that it is very high important. Sometime it is happening, intermittent. Yes, you are right. Sometime, but you don't know behavior of that. Something you are giving it, it's breaking the application. How do you handle it? Now tell me. Mm -hmm. Guys, these are the questions they will ask. This is what that's the reason I'm telling you very basic. We'll reopen the issue with a high priority. No, the op issue is open now. Uh, development team is there with you. They are telling that you know, guys, we have to go into you know, we have to go into production tomorrow or the next week. We cannot go if the issues are open. How do you handle it? How do you do it? So, so they are saying that you know you cannot able to reproduce. Show me one one time, two time, three time. You are not able to reproduce it. How do you make sure? And what is your state? You know, what is your 
how do you handle it as a being experienced tester or you know fresher uh, how do you handle the situation or imagine or imagine that defect is you know uh, reported in production how do you do it now tell me you got it right what i'm trying to sell tell you it's a real time scenario right so now you identified it uh, but uh, they said that it's not a defect you you said that no it's a defect you know then they asked you to show me you know then you have provided logs and all that but uh, they said that you know uh, issue with your environment and we were not able to reproduce they put not able to reproduce how do you handle it can you personally talk with the developer and uh, take suggestions from him developers don't know anything they he know only the code what he is working guys you have to remember it you guys are better than any developer you know in and out of the application any tester job is not only doing 1 plus 1 equal to 2 you have to understand where one i am giving where one i am giving then two where two is going see applications will have you know different downstream upstream application okay so how many of you do trading today or how many of you know about trading okay so somebody wanted to buy an ibm share of 500 and you call a share broker or go to sharecon and put 500 and you know put that it goes to trade trade booked what happens do you know backside of that what happens if you if you try to search google in google you put something what happens how it is searching have you ever thought that so when you when you test your application also you have to think in that you know i am testing they have given me a requirement and i'm testing this requirement fine but you know is our uh, is our application giving our data to some other downstream application and that application taking our output as an input and processing the data all these things you have to understand so developer don't know he said that you know you are my good friend yeah you know kuch bhi nahi hota you know close kar de does that works okay so let let's accept it you know you are you said that you know developer told you and he he tried to do also uh, he also tried but uh, there is not much help you got it so think about that if you are into a five years less than experience you think about it if you are in five plus more years experience think about as a lead and answer this question you can you can replace this question with any of the question but but end of the day your answer should be how do you handle situation okay guys i'm sorry i i just saw that you know manu has joined hey manu you are there right um hey manu hi guys i just wanted to introduce manu as well uh, so i requested manu to join us uh, so he is working in sydney australia he has two decades of experience more than two decades of experience and thanks manu for joining so i uh, you know uh, probably uh, he will take agile sessions he's an agile expert he has completed you know scrum master product owners and lot of other certifications so uh, i will uh, you know give an opportunity to introduce uh, manu and then we will continue the next agile session starting uh, next week that is next saturday over to you manu you can introduce a quick you know introduction Hi everyone. Uh, this is Manu. I am currently in uh, Sydney, Australia. I work as a senior solution designer here, and uh, have vast experience in agile and business analysis, product development, and various uh, areas related to IT. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see you guys next week for this, uh, for our session on. agile and scrum practices thank you thanks manu thanks for your time guys you don't you know please make sure that uh, uh, you are available for the next week and um, he is an expert as i said right you know you go through it he will he will give you from very basics like you know what is agile scrum and everything around it what's going on in real time so take this opportunity and you know uh, try to make sure you are available for the next week thanks manu for joining it i appreciate your time and thank you very much no worries no worries
tough pay soon okay thanks so so guys coming to our topic right so these are the these are the questions what what currently asking right so you think about it uh, answer it how how you wanted to put it okay so so it's taking time right so i'll tell you so whenever you raise a bug you have to put a reproducibility percentage that will help you for example see there are a lot of factors involved how many of you know that we will put reproducibility one you know uh, in in our defect yes no maybe have you did it earlier those who no, are already no. into no bobby no okay perfect so something no, important right so something important you have to put reproducibility when you say reproducibility out of 10 times how many times you were able to reproduce i say that i was able to reproduce 20% it means that if i try 10 i can able to do it twice see we may be inputting something maybe there may be some spaces or character or special character or whatever circumstances you know might have we were very keen to understand that why it is getting why it is getting you know error uh, in some times or not so you have to make that particular statement or 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 saying that you know reproducibility 20% 10% so now question is fine now this you have opened a defect and they asked uh, to close this defect and your your manager or your lead or whoever whatever right uh, so they told hey you know what somya you have to close this defect you are not able to reproduce it for some reason have you have closed it okay done so it went to production and production same defect happened what do you do as a lead as a engineer whatever role is who wanted to answer this so can we tell them that we will release in the next cycle in the next release no 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 you have to understand why we need to open defects because of this so you can tell them development team you know what guys we have opened this defect you know you always thought that it's not an issue then you have solid proof you can you can you can stand there so that is the reason any deviation from the requirement is an issue defect error bug whatever so you have to report it you have to report it you cannot do over the chat you have to report everything you get paid only for this you get paid for what you get paid for defects you get paid for your observations if there are 10 people in a team two are raising defects eight are you know just executing test cases and they never found defect do you think they will add value to the table yes no maybe So that's no, very important. What 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 I'm trying to say is, you have to be very clear. So your role responsibility, right? As a lead, right? In the earlier example, we can say that you know what our team has been reported, okay? And but uh, but but uh, you know, uh, as per your advice, we have closed it. So then we can go back, okay? So this is few of a real time, ex you know, um, scenario. How does it work? so what is the defect life cycle then in this case you can go to the alm and say that reopen that issue okay we have to reopen that issue now i was telling you right once a bug is new it assigns open fixed ready for retest closed now in this case we have reopened that issue so status of this defect will be reopen once it is reopen what will happen again developer team start working on this defect and once the developer team fixes this defect they will reassign back to us saying that ready for retest and we will test it if it is working we'll close this is a high level on a bug life cycle in any of the tool okay if it is if it is in um, if it is in jira uh, or it is in i I'm, i'm referring on the alm side but you know statuses are different we can add those statuses accordingly basing on your requirement and all that so that will have a permission for the administrator who is doing that okay does it make sense guys so far 
we feel that uh, you you can correlate those who are, those who are not aware of this uh, alm or, or the defect status yes 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 okay good. perfect yes. that sounds good okay so so uh, prakash now what are the questions we are having it i was not able to see it sorry perfect so yeah so uh, who now now this is like you know bug life cycle in the software develop start software testing life cycle what is software testing life cycle i am sure everybody knows here who wanted to tell me that you know whatever you have learned right you now requirement blah 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 and all that who wanted to tell that software life cycle has different stages uh, that are involved like for testing and certifying a particular product and uh, what are those is, sorry what are those e, uh, so it's requirement analysis uh test strategizing test case development test environment setup and it's test execution and the final one is the test cycle closure perfect sounds good exactly so what do we do in requirement analysis stage as a tester as a lead what do you do anybody want to answer and this is an interview question guys even for 15 years experience guys we will ask this question oh okay. we will gather the information as per of like you know what, what needs your, to be as a test engineer or a test lead what is your role in requirement analysis what what requirement gathering you will do we'll like check the requirements that we got and we'll also see what we can uh, which requirements are testable we'll decide on that part no requirement analysis they are doing it what is your role is it required test engineer or test lead to be part of that thanks who will tell this answer we'll pay them 10k today uh, uh we'll understand the requirement in the requirement analysis phase and uh, if we find any blockers uh, we will uh, get back to the business and we'll get confirmation on that in the requirement analysis phase then we'll go then we can go ahead with design no that but the requirement know. no no but my question is simple question so uh, is a tester or a test lead required for that requirement analysis phase if yes what do they do so you are saying that all are saying yes 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 right that's what i heard in that phase we can understand the functionality of the application the behavior yeah yeah so guys what is what is that uh, still i am not uh, clear see the requirement I, I analysis we uh, we understand the functionality of the software and uh, we get to know the uh, in scope Arif, software, and out scope software even they did not come to software development what do you understand the functionality there So we then later picture right Okay Rishita you want to answer this Give it try it's okay guys nobody is judging no one here we are all learning you know it's think, see i'm trying to put you in a real time experience exposure not on a bookish thing so if if you can answer this if you know 20% of this you can add your stuff and put it in a better way and trust me this will definitely a, a, a good question for a good company they will ask this question if you are going less than 5 years experience bobby can i say something oh, open all all you was go ahead okay uh, requirement analysis means uh, functionality check which is a uh, developer team develop that uh, functionality for the uh, related software they get that thing from the development team for testing 
that's the requirement but you know what do they do in requirement analysis requirement analysis means uh, uh, if some bugs happen are but what is going on yaar usme bug ka bahut dur hai na bug is later stage once okay. code is they develop and everything testing then you will find bug it requirement analysis sir in that stage what are the client what are the things the client required we will discuss about that sir so testing okay. is required there sorry sir testing testing team is required there no sir business analyst yes. and the yes uh, for the requirement analysis phase the testing team is required because uh, uh, they do share uh, the requirement document with us then we will analyze what are the modules are involved and uh, what is the approach we are following then only uh, uh, then uh, from that we will understand all the things and we'll go ahead with the design without analysis and understanding the requirements and the environment uh, which we are testing so uh that uh, we can't do anything so e this is the very important uh, uh aspect for the uh, test testing perspective yeah uh, in my point of view it's it's uh, is uh, that uh, that is uh, required good good shruti so good so your your question so what do we do so when requirement analysis they try to tell what is required okay so they for example think about it in our earlier example right we said that half our team is into development half is in testing and we are building one software so client needs 1 2 3 4 10 10 things so they say that you know what i need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 requirements so they will tell about the requirement you have to understand what realistic it is so all this strategy plan and all that you will put in your test plan test strategy that's a different thing but you should you should be involved in requirement analysis if somebody asks you does it required and why you need to make sure yes definitely testing team should be involved from day one what they can do it they can add value to their kaisa how do we do it you have to tell that not only we'll understand the requirement understanding requirement you don't need to be there understand requirement when the requirement is given right you should not say understand requirement so you have to make sure that you is it realistic what will happen so all your experience basing on your previous projects if you are a lead so you have to put there and you have to tell them okay so that is on the real uh, questions on that okay and uh, and after requirement what did you say analysis uh, it's test test strategy yeah test planning Sorry, and strategy test planning and strategy what do we do in test planning and strategy who wanted to give in one 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 two liner guys what do we do in test planning see how many of you saw the test planning if not that please google it and find out you know what sections will be there in our test planning i'll give you a simple thing okay you have to understand this in test planning we'll talk about everything on testing resources tools strategy test cases boundary and what what functionality will do how do we test everything will be there basing on the testing side there are 10 12 13 section will be there so but on a high level understand what is the functionality we will be testing it on which environment we will be testing it when we will be doing regression who are the resources resources skill set what tool we will use what bug tracking tool we will report it all this information i am giving you very high level this is you have to understand you know what so testing team will be responsible your lead or your you are if you are a lead or if you are something you know a test senior engineer you are responsible or you will prepare it to your manager and he will circle it he is responsible but overall that is what it is right so in the test strategy what is test strategy document and test plan anybody want to tell yeah yes bobby 
the test plan document is a detailed document, whereas test strategy is a high level document. Uh, in test strategy, once we define it, uh, we can't change, uh, but in test plan, uh, based on the requirement change, um, so based on, uh, so we will we will uh, add the requirements or uh, uh, remove the requirements from test plan documents. So the test strategy document will be presented with the business uh, in the initial stage of testing process, whereas test plan is uh, um, the second stage after testing strategy will come. So all the things okay. like uh, in the test strategy that will be involved, like uh, um, so what are the testing scope how many resources are doing what is the environment uh, we are using and uh, uh, all those all those things will be involved the main difference is in comes into the test plan and test strategies in test strategy we don't put any requirements over there uh, uh, i mean high level requirements this is uh, this is the product this this is uh, this is the new enhancement came into this so we are just mentioning that we are testing this uh, in the test plan document we will completely uh, maintain all the requirements in the test plan document. yes the main difference is about the requirements so in the test plan the strategy document uh, th thanks Ruti. Uh, it was good so you know what we will put you will check our entry and exit criteria in our test plan okay we will put our when our test strategy will make sure traceability is covered okay so all these when we say that traceability or entry or exit criteria where we will put it how do we know that you know see somebody says that you know uh, uh, if you are a lead or an engineer if say that you know what is your test strategy here then we don't know what is test strategy or kya karna hai. so your test strategy is a as as uh, you know shruti said that you know it's a high level document but your approach will be there what are we doing it okay what will be my entry and exit criteria how do we make sure the requirement is completely i will make sure 100 percent all my requirements are mapping to my test cases so when i say traceability matrix how many of you know traceability matrix yes no maybe yes Robert. what is that it's just documenting uh, the user requirements uh, to the system that is actually built. This is just to ensure that all of the test cases that are created that will fall with the requirements of the customer, like the client. And also, it's just to make sure to, to let us know that which particular uh, requirement has more number of defects and uh, to trace all of that information. Good. So traceability matrix, matlab, you know, there are one, two requirement. Okay. So in one requirement, there it says that, you know, log into Google. Then what do you do? You will do, you will write that into use cases. Like, you know, log into Google from which browser. Again, all this comes and make sure that you are, there are two requirements, requirement one and requirement two. So what did you do? You created some use cases for requirement one. Imagine that for requirement one, you have created 10 use cases. For requirement two, you have covered 10 use cases. So two requirements are covering 20 use cases. At any given point of time, if somebody say that, hey, you know what, uh, you know, Soumya, show me that, you know, you are covering all the requirement and making sure that you are testing all this requirement, then you can say that, hey, yes, we have made sure that, you know, this is our traceability matrix for requirement one. We have this features, this test use cases, this test scenarios, and we are mapping to that. And in requirement two, these are the use cases, scenarios, test matrix, and we have created the test matrix. This is, and you will map that in your ALM in the release tab. You make sure that in one of the how do you map your requirement to test traceability? You can say that you know we can map it in the ALM. How to do that? I I, I can tell you, but overall understand that requirement whatever the requirement they have given we are making 200 percent sure that we are covering each and everything and that is nothing but a traceability got it right so uh, and uh, in our example right so how how do we uh, you know in our test strategy we will put all these things very very important most of the people does not know that you know where resources come into picture 
as a lead right you know as as an engineer you need to understand the resources planning everything come in your strategy test strategy document test planning you have mentioning that again it's 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 a different to, together to different companies every company has their own but you know but all related testing you will be placing here okay can somebody say that what is what is a use case <laughs> what is a use case what is the scenario what is a test case if somebody can explain me any it should not be you know i don't i'm not looking for a specific uh, you know uh, bookish definition and i even don't know just on a high level tell me use case is like uh, let's say we there's a uh, login page where in the uh, password area it's only allowed to have a or uh, characters but then we'll check with the uh, numbers and alphanumeric and with the characters and all all those three different sort of things comes as a use case different cases like uh, okay good and uh, what is the test scenario guys those who are not known these are the jargons they use okay so so that is the reason i'm asking maybe you know some of you might be thinking that i do i know already but but you know understand so what is the difference between a use case and a test scenario and test matrix also they say i'll give you an example okay so one example is we got a requirement saying that you know test gmail software so what they are introducing in that gmail they are adding a new feature something called you know abc clicking on that abc button from the left panel it should show up your name you got it right i'm i'm giving an example google has launched a new product okay a uh, new feature sorry let me correct it new feature in google so that feature does its clicking on that abc abc button so as soon as you log into google username password you will see left side inbox compose trash blah 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 and all you know underneath they are introducing a new button called abc the requirement for the abc is when user clicks on that button it should take your name and show say hello like if bobby logged in with bobby's user uh, gmail id and clicked on that button it should say hey bobby that is a requirement now right so we are writing the use cases or 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 test scenarios or a test matrix what does it mean is we are telling that if somebody is you know the person maybe you know a business analyst or somebody non technical guy if you are if you are telling them what we are testing it is pictorial representation like you know you can tell that you know this is the functionality i'm testing you know i logged in with my this user and clicked on this link and i'm going there so very high level your scenario should be high level scenario but it should be clear what you are doing it i can say that you know uh, i i logged in with a, a user having 200 character or 200 length and he's clicking there his name how it is showcasing show that so that 200 length name should come in that window how the alignment look all this because end of the day user interface is very important functionality is definitely important so what we will do is so that is what we'll testing it right so now in this case tell me in your test plan or test strategy what do you say that you know we will we will test this new requirement okay and how much time will it take you have to give an estimate right how many of you know that you know uh, whenever whenever you are doing some testing you have to make sure you have to give a end date how do we do that and how many of you know that you know we have to do regression testing also right so we'll cover this topic so um, on this google page right so new 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 feature we have added like add button abc button clicking on that it shows like you know your name that is a requirement so your test strategy or test analysis or or use cases should show up they saying that you know i am testing with a user which having only three characters i mean his name is starting with abc okay i am testing with a username having 200 character or max character okay and i am testing with a user which having you know limited character we'll talk about you know 
boundary value analysis equivalent partitions and all that so we'll as we go but you know we will we will put that here on specifically on this areas guys how do we do it so we will test it so now uh, uh, now Soumya is testing this and she said that you know sir um, if she wanted to give a estimation to his manager his manager will say that you know Soumya we are getting this requirement how how long how much time will it take how many how much man days will it take so how do we tell that how many of you know man days estimations here yes Meghna you are aware of that yes okay perfect so man days is nothing but you know uh, how many for example for this specific for the specific software right for this specific feature my bad the specific feature if i wanted to test how many test scenarios are coming so in our in our scenarios right we will put it like you know i will test with uh, maximum character minimum character you know uh, and i will test with uh, different combinations like you know i'll put uh, input uh, username with uh, special characters i'll put uh, username with uh, numbers or only alphabet and all that so you come up with 20 test cases to test this feature okay so now now Soumya say that uh, to his manager saying that you know uh, boss uh, to test this functionality uh, it will take uh, i have 20 scenarios 20 test cases i have to execute then he will ask Soumya tell me each scenario how much time will it take she says that you know in order for me to create a new user because you need to test with all this right i have to create a new user i have to then i have to test this so for all this for each each uh, use case it will be it will be taking around uh, uh, two hours because i have to test in uh, microsoft uh, latest version old version you know internet browser all these browsers uh, he says that okay uh, then 22 hours per how many um, test cases we have 20 so it will be around how many 220 40 hours per day it is 8 8 8 hours per day right so 40 hours divided by 8 is nothing but how many man days we are getting it 5 man days so your estimation should be to your manager saying that it will take 8 hour uh, 8 hours per day so total 20 test cases each two hours so it will be 40 hours so it will be in a day if i work for eight hours five days i will complete then you will ask okay now tell me you are covering functionality how do you make sure that your regression regression test cases how long will it take how many of you know regression test cases how many of you know regression testing yes no maybe i know everybody knows the reason i'm asking you somebody has to answer it uh, yes bobby yes bobby it is nothing but like retesting it whether all the test cases that uh, bugs that we raised are resolved or not to get the confirmation okay one more example um, with, with, with my example you have to tell me so with Sir. with my example you have to you have to tell me like you know we our requirement is adding a new add button in the gmail page so uh, what is regression testing here you have to give me with that example uh, in the May regression test yes let's say we have raised a bug saying uh, that the uh, add button is not working properly or something once the once the developer team says it is resolved and then we will go back there again we will check whether the button is added or not and it is working properly or not to check this the functional and the non-functional then we'll call it as regression test no no still i want a clear no. answer with the next sure. See, guys i'm giving you an example but tell me uh, sir, uh, for example, in one environment, some test has already been done, and it is uh, I mean, suppose in a client environment, everything is done, and now it needs to be done over our environment. Whether everything, whatever has been done, is be is rechecked over here. Same process, everything as it was done previously by uh, uh, some other uh, you know in client environment. 
same uh, we need to test in our environment in same way so this is okay, as per thanks. my understanding regression testing okay any anybody wanted to tell guys with our example our, yes, our requirement sir. was upon we have given a new uh, feature for the gmail right so after giving that if at all any other feature is disturbing with uh, by adding this one so we need to test that exactly so our requirement was see guys i am giving you example for some reason you have to understand i know you know everybody know you might you know easily tell write three pages on regression testing but you have to understand our requirement was when user logs in with username password and click on submit he will see a new button called add abc something clicking on that abc it will say your name hi so that was you tested very well it was working fine with every damn scenarios like you know you covered thousand characters two thousand characters special this that but clicking on inbox it is giving you 403 error what happens if you're clicking on compose it is giving you something else redirecting to yahoo what happens so regression testing means anything side effects this new requirement should not have any side effects on the existing requirement existing functionality your existing functionality should work as it is it was working earlier this new set of feature should not disturb them in any way neither functional neither ui neither performance anything it should behave as it was working earlier does it make sense Yes. Yes, sir. yes yes perfect so neha whatever see you do you you guys have to understand don't run around the bush you know just understand what it is if you understand this concept right you are an expert already you guys are already expert you know you can add your your terminology your your whatever language you wanted to just understand so regression testing uh, people people think that you know what is regression testing why do we need to now next question why do we need to do regression testing I answered it saying that you know it should not have impact on the existing code okay existing functionality should work as it is that will cover on the regression testing right so these are all the very important when we when we when we do right so in that they will ask about uh, um, so in our case right now we verified regression testing also verified again imagine that in our previous example what happened uh you know one defect we found it and that defect was uh, te technology told us to close it but it got into production okay now the status of that defect we we did it reopen okay and now technology trying to fix it but tomorrow we have to uh, deploy the code they don't know how to do right they don't know how to do so what do, what do they do it tomorrow tomorrow is a requirement we have to we have to do we have to send this to uh, production tomorrow but they don't know what to fix what do they do it anybody has a then they'll postpone it to the next cycle any other any other answers can you please repeat that are they going to are the development team going to fix that or, or are they like uh, not sure of uh, what to do and they're just going to release it i mean i did not get the question sorry so guys now somebody said that it will be you know to the next release so exactly so now development team says that you know this is important you have to fix it and i agree everybody but there is no time they don't know what is the fix how the hell they will fix what will happen is they will put to the future release and the status of the defect is deferred status you got it right so what is the deferred status in in a defect life cycle we said that new new to what we have did it assigned after assigned what it did is we open the defect once we open the defect they have fixed it once that got fixed it is ready for retest and you tested it is closed 
if it ready for retest you found something you reopened it now for ready for retest if it is not ready for retest what it is it is now we have to we have to go production tomorrow at any cost so they will put it as an enhancement for the next release and they say the status of the defect is deferred okay this is a defect life cycle again we have covered only earlier i said one right this is two part there is a lot more on the defect life cycle how it goes perfect so now we come about right so regarding the estimations we 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 said that right how how do we estimate it so as in our example last example we said that you know um, soumya did uh, that test uh, that add button test X, abc test like you know she took 20 uh, you know 2 hours because she wanted to make sure different scenarios like you know 2000 characters 200 characters and all that negative positive all scenarios how many of you know uh, equivalence partitions here any anybody anybody have idea have you heard about equivalence partition devesh what is equivalent partition no idea prakash i'm oh, sorry bobby no idea okay cool great anybody for example see understand imagine like you know in that earlier example we have to create a use case like you know a username with long long length do you think that we can do it because of whatever time we cannot do it right long length with one one special character long length with you know one space long length with you know one alpha number it, it's huge right so how do we make sure that you know we make sure that it will work as is if it is long so we have to we have to do a partitioning right so for example if it is um, are you guys getting it what i'm trying to say yes sir. okay perfect so equivalent partition is something that you know you try to partition your test data make sure that you know you test it correctly okay probably i will i will come back to that you know maybe it is too uh, I'll, I'll come back to on that in a, in a in a later stage but we we covered right so uh, and in this right in in our defect also we 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 have gone through like you know defect status but what about severity and priority how many of you know that what is severity what is priority who will give severity and who will give priority in in testing anybody anybody have any idea Maybe yes any... Bobby, severity. yes tell me tell, tell me who will who uh, will provide the severity and who will provide the priority us uh, severity is like how much it is affecting the business or how severe uh, like you know how, how much it is affecting is the severity uh, like let's say uh, add to cart option is not available or uh, while placing an order if add to cart is not available then the business will get affected that is a major functionality to be worked that is severity oh, okay uh, anybody anybody wanted to add anything uh yeah yes uh, yes Bobby, i agree with that uh, severity means how uh, how seriously the uh, uh, issue is affecting on the application uh, because of that uh, because of that issue we are not if you are unable to move forward that is a very high severe uh, uh, high severe issue uh, that uh, testers will raise the severity and priority will be raised by the developers. Uh, we, uh, it initially, we will also give the priority, but uh, based on the um, functionality effect from the developer side, they do they also change the priority. Yeah. Okay. For example, okay. I have in, in one table. Yeah, I have one testing one table that uh, uh, there is there is a uh, uh, much data mismatch the dimension table, uh, but because of that I am unable to test the fact table also. So that is a very severe issue. So that we raise it in uh, by using the uh, uh, high high severity issue. Yeah. 
Okay, perfect. Let, let's come back to our example. Gmail, they introduced new button on the left side, ABC, clicking on that, it will take your name and say hi. Now give me one example, high severity, low priority defect. And give me one example, low priority, low severity defect. Who wants to tell that? got got the got the requirement right so we are we are testing our uh, you know requirement so there we have raised a lot of soumya created test cases and you know uh, all of us tested and we identified some good number of defects now give me one example where severity is high and priority is low soumya you got uh, it what we are talking yeah, tell me, tell yes, me. from the tester's point of view. Yeah, sorry, Shruti is talking. Are you able to hear me? No, no, Shruti, I got it. I got your answer, Shruti. Earlier you said I got it. So now let's let's take uh, with our example. You know, maybe Shruti or anybody can answer it. What I need is simple. You have raised so many defects. And now give me one clear example as you said right severity is launched uh, you know uh, report by whom and priority will be reported by whom so you said also that you know severity and priority both will be reported by testing team right that, is that what you said yes probably i'm just uh, going to answer your next question as well uh, with your example so if if can i or someone can answer it no, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good, good. You know, I want people to answer. It's fine. Yeah, high severity here. The button we are checking. So if the button is not working, that will become in high severity. Um, so uh, as a tester's point of view, is also it is the severe, high severity also. But from the developer point of view, it may be the low. Uh, uh, it is. It may be the low priority because uh, uh, there is something uh, in the code uh, behind the code. So because of that button is not working that becomes to high severity and low priority um, and whereas uh, low uh, one second I need, I need i need to pause you that's wrong if you feel that high you you it's a new future right sruti clicking on this yeah. is not working you say high severity that will be high priority for them right how can you say that it's low priority development team do you think that you know i'll not I will not work on this defect. I will work on something. This is high severity, high priority defect. Okay. So, but you know, imagine on the defect name, uh, uh, it says A, B, C, but you say that A, B, D. Okay. Now, what will be low severity but high priority? Yes. Severity is low, high priority. Maybe you can say that high priority, high severity also. Maybe you know because it is impacting customer reputation and name. Okay, alignment is there. You know that button is less. You know they told put exactly on this spot, but just it is not matching. Low priority, low severity. Okay, are you guys getting with me, right? Yes, Prakash. Yes. That's great. So, so great. So, so these are all important. You know, if you know simple thing, you can put anything. But, but very important, uh, you have to understand what is severity, who will put is what is priority, who will put it. So, so uh, it it depends on you know case to case. But make sure that when you are explaining it, you are giving an example. Any question you tell, give an example and try to explain that. It is proven thing that you know. If you give example and tell the interviewer, your possibility of cracking interview is 98%. Okay, so that's uh, you know on this, but I, I I haven't given you example because I don't know bookish exam or, or you know uh, definitions because I might have forgot all this. This is on a high level, realistic. How does it work? I'm giving you. Okay, so any question so far? Okay, so now I'll ask you a question here, right? So what is system testing?
anyone has any idea or what is alpha testing or what is yes, beta testing what is yes and is go ahead hello anaya ओके System testing is the part where actually the testing part comes here. So this is completely uh, the black box testing here. So we need to check here. We will be having two parts here. I mean the user acceptance testing. So where uh, we we not we will not be including in the coding part. Okay. Anybody want to try? Give it a try. Yeah. it is uh, testing the overall functionality of the software testing the overall functionality software. of the software like with respect to the all the uh, requirements that have been provided okay everybody and sandeep you are mentioning something on 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 you know black box testing white box testing right what is black box testing guys and white what is white box testing white box testing is done by developers mainly they will check the uh, like you know who is doing white box testing they should have the programming uh, knowledge as well and the black box testing is done by the testers uh, like no need of having this uh, program knowledge program now knowledge of that oh here we are checking the so functionality in the black box okay and what is right. ad hoc testing oh uh, sorry what is ad Let's hoc testing the application randomly so that uh we'll check the application randomly uh, that is ad hoc test ad hoc testing if we have uh, if we have if we don't have much time to test we go for ad hoc testing and this ad hoc testing is not Based having any knowledge we will go okay okay perfect guys you have to you have to go through this this is very important ad hoc testing is something you test on spot something like you know without any test cases just go randomly there is no strategy at all you got a build you have to do for example let's take an example of the same case okay half people in testing half people in development now uh, prakash sir has been deployed a new code of abc and deployed the code that they have given to us as soon as the code has been uh, you know deployed in uat version what do we first we do we do smoke test we do sanity test we do ad hoc test what do we do we do smoke test we do smoke test so what is smoke test the basic function Making exactly. sure that we are checking the basic and the critical functionality we are checking and that this okay perfect we are making sure that we are testing the basic functionality it is working or not so when we say basic functionality we are making sure clicking on inbox coming page clicking on abc coming in clicking on trash showing something that is only very high level okay just just we, we and if any issues are there we will tell to the deployment tool once we deploy and we test it we say that if it is any issues are there if 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 it is breaking it in in our earlier example right clicking on inbox is taking 403 then we'll tell that hey development team you know what we are we did a smoke test and the code is you know broken 
our code is not working so they come they do and you know they do they fix it and give it to us so that is a smoke test now the another one is the sanity test what is the difference between smoke and sanity anybody uh, smoke testing is used to check the basic functionality and the sanity test is uh, is done uh, whether to check after the build the changes are fixed or not the bugs have been fixed or not after the build okay anybody want to add anything sir yeah, and sanity is to check the basic to move forward uh, whereas in the sanity um, along with the retesting we do the sanity testing i mean after the, uh, fixing the issue we do retest so we are making sure that the, the surrounding functionality should not be affected because of the, uh, this new fix so that for that purpose we do the uh, we do we do checks for surrounding we do check for surrounding functional tags well. so that uh, we call it as sanity test okay thanks shruti manikanta you want to add something to here after bug fixes uh, if you want to test the uh, build or whatever the application uh, deployed by the developer uh, we need to test the uh, new functionalities after a lot Thank of releases you, okay sudendra you want to add something okay ambika Go ahead, Ambika. Mm, yeah, Bobby, I can uh, give an example for this uh, uh, sanity testing. Uh, yeah. Can I? Yes, 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 please. Guys, remember. Yeah, example... Please try to understand the basic concepts. These if you know that you can do you can play around you know informatica you know sql everything if you don't know this they will not take you simple reason so make sure that you know you are trying to we are we are giving the best you know live example maybe you know what we call uh, with experience live experience examples we are giving try to understand it try to put connect the dots and if you don't understand this is the form you know you know forum where you raise it saying that you know i don't know i'm i, I never did because a lot of people are answering and few people are just listening listening will not help you guys attempt it forget about it is right or wrong you make an attitude doing it attempt it just all will work and and we wanted to help each one of you not only four or five people each one of you should get benefited each one of you should get at the best job each one of you should be happy that is that is the motto of overall here right so so please try try uh, you know answering it not for my sake i don't need any answers but for your sake you guys are amazing guys just just be with right people you are all learning right so try to attend i understand few people don't know the concept and all that try you know uh, ask questions you know how does it work this is a great great team nobody judges no one so shruti you are saying something go ahead yeah sure papi uh, for example as a part of sanity testing uh, uh, in the initial stage i got an issue that uh, uh, i have a table that i have i'm having 20 columns in that table uh, so for one of the column the data is uh, mismatch or uh, populated incorrect data or uh, the data is not not populated from uh, from the upstream so that i raised an issue that got fixed now so i need to retest i retested it it is working fine it is working correctly but i need to make sure whether this or uh, remaining columns 19 columns also working fine or not so that i do um, then i will close an issue so these 19 19 columns testing will come under the sanity testing so uh, then again if it is also working fine then we can close the issue Okay. That is what great, I want. Great, great, great example. Thank you. Thank you for that. Great. Uh, 
so next right uh, what is we, we already verified right so what is verification and validation one example i'm sure most of you might be you know having 10 10 examples with you one example what is verification and what is validation we we call it as v model you remember v model what is verification and what is validation who want to go testing that is done on the document uh, is the verification whereas the actual testing that is done on the software the the end product that is called as validation thank you rishita any more answers devesh verification means we are checking that our system is working but validation means we are telling that our system works as per our requirements okay good any other answer verification can be done on the documents which are part of testing or uh, in sdlc life cycle so validation can be done on the product whatever the build uh, handover by the developer to the tester we can perform validation any other can you hear me any any other answers uh can we see like this uh, movie like you know let's say we are performing one uh, yes. operation like uh, arithmetic or something it is doing the arithmetic operation uh, we are confirmed with that that is verification whether it is giving the correct output of that arithmetic operation then we'll check the output for that and that is a validation okay i'll give you an example see val validation validation is the process of checking whether the specifications capture the customer's requirement in our case our requirement was in previous example we have to make sure one button in google we are adding it okay so we are validating validation is the process of checking whether the specification captures the customer's requirement and while verification is the process of checking that the software meets specification okay does it i mean uh, is it clear or yes yes prakash yes sir. is it about the documents only i mean uh, all the static testing kind of thing in verification correct so it we call it as is the process of checking that the software system meets a specification whatever the specification meeting it or not okay and when it comes to the verification is a process of checking that software needs exactly that specification so you are making sure clicking on that button it show that requirement is that working or not that is the verification that we are doing it we will make sure that is working as expected is it clear yes sir yes, yes no sir. maybe yes, perfect sir. so good so guys you know as i was telling you right waterfall model and v model v model is nothing but you know how many of you know that water what is waterfall model why waterfall model what is the name waterfall means after we'll finish one phase and then we'll move to the next phase it's a step by step process there is no chance yeah, of so uh, no. getting back to the another uh, uh, i mean previous state once the requirements is uh, finalized then it can be freezed so there is no improvement or any changes in the requirements placed in waterfall model okay okay good so you know what uh, 
imagine you are on a staircase okay you are pouring water from on on top how water flows one step at a time one step at a time one step at a time so all the requirement will be given at a time for us and they will do it any changes here they have to redo it completely okay so that is the what that is means waterfall model that is what the people Hello, Bobby. Your sound is not coming. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was on. I was on. I was sorry. I see. Now got disconnected. Can you hear me, Prakash? Now. Yes. Now. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. So waterfall model is a continuous process. Continuous. Whereas V model is a simultaneous process. so when it comes to software right software made using waterfall model the number of defects are less in comparison to the v using v model software made using v model the number of defects are greater in comparison to the software made using waterfall model so that is and uh, advantages of v model over here is we will we will do this v model right first you know in in coding so everything right you know it will be it will be a dual stage uh, parallel simultaneously testing as well as both de development goes hand in hand testing activities like planning test design happened well before coding for example they are doing coding right prior to that only we got the requirement we start uh, doing planning of our work and we make sure that you know we, we put our test designing and all that this saves a lot of time hence higher chances of success over waterfall model this is a proactive defect tracking that that a defect are found at early stages whereas whereas in the in the in the you know waterfall model it will be a late and you know you will found a code lately and they have to fix it and it's a time consuming both here goes hand in hand in v model okay so what i suggest is just go over that you know v model uh, and waterfall model once and why it is so everything we have like coding will be there on the simultaneously when they are doing planning right what or when they are doing coding what we are doing we are making sure we are right doing planning on writing test cases and so on so that is basically on the on the v model and uh, when whenever v model we do it right so they make sure that you know specific why we call it as a v model because both goes hand in hand in parallel development team testing team everybody will be involved they will be doing exactly what they are supposed to do and in this development phase or in testing phase how they strategize their plan what questions they will ask to ba how do they ask and all this comes here so we will um, you know probably you know uh, we will we will give you some more on this but uh, yeah any questions so far guys do you guys feel that this session is helping you guys in some way yes so yes bobby yes bobby yes bobby, yes, bobby. Yes, bobby. And, and again as i was pinging you few of guys there are good requirements guys uh, those who are looking good in manual testing and uh, manual testing and little bit of you know uh, uh, if i say 
manual testing five you should be minimum four if you rate yourself and you are good in sql informatica out of five if you rate two and a half you know share your resume it's a very good big companies uh, uh, and uh, i think you know i have sent few resumes from our team but there are a couple of requirements i don't know but but share your resume so that you know we can help you guys uh, if you guys play you will be the happiest person as I always say that you know prakash is doing a fantabulous job spending every day i am trying to connect with you people whenever i have some time or you know i connect all you guys me just make sure uh, this should go for a long run and uh, you should get benefited as you all know that we wanted to make sure each one of you get benefit out of that and try to attend the next session which will be an agile manu will be taking you know he he was never been into training or no no idea but i requested him saying that you know there are our you know few of our students who are really looking for that and he said that yes he will he will join it so please attend it and uh, any questions right i i don't know i have not uh, gone through questions and all that but i wanted to put it on a realistic real time faces you have to understand uh, how does it impact how does it go and if you know that part you can crack any interview remember any interview take it you give with example pause if you don't know ask question don't think that you know and be at a place where you can hear him very clearly don't be somewhere and you know don't close your doors or you know if you are at home make sure you tell your parents or you know family please allow me 50 minutes i'll take it so take it very seriously you know what happens you know you never know which company who gets you know break to us so respect that time and give your best shot best shot and you see the difference altogether so i know um, we are almost on on time right so we will we will definitely continue it and i haven't um, gone through anything you know uh, prakash uh, prakash sir pinged me saying that you know can we uh, can you join so i saw and i joined this class guys so make sure uh, we will have the next session on few of the good topics and uh, please do share your resumes uh, any questions we'll take it up and uh, if not then we'll wind up so I have we have three minutes. Anybody has any questions? Like in terms of related to this or non-related or interview or whatever. Open, open. Open forum, you can ask any question. Nobody seeing no one here. Nobody knows anyone. So it's open, you can ask questions. And we should be always uh, asking questions. It's not like, you know, just for sake of asking, but you make sure that your presence is there people hearing you you know what happens we are working uh, re, you know uh, remotely these days and we thought you know are you know let's let's do our work and keep quiet no you should never be like that you should showcase your you should sell yourself if you can't sell yourself nobody sell you so when i say sell means you should be visible people should see you though you are not in office they can hear your voice you have to respond to emails. If you are not sure how to do, just go through a few things, you know. I'll, I'll ping me, I'll help you out. But you know, you have to be very proactive and plan your work very well, very well. If you are coming to office, you plan your work in a such a way that you, you will give your 100% there. If you don't plan well, you can't do that. And uh, these are very very important email etiquettes are very important you know be with the team uh, make sure that you know you set up one on one with your managers you set up one on one with your teams you make sure you are connecting with your skip level meetings your boss to boss try to talk in the forums give some presentations whatever you learn tell to your colleagues and explain them the more you tell the more you go further the more question will come if you are here and making good money you will do the same thing for 20 years don't be like that keep keep going to next level keep taking challenges keep keep every day tell yourself saying that you know i am better than yesterday compare to yourself don't compare to anyone on the planet 
they are that will not give you anything you compare to yourself every day and you see the difference what you what you are doing it that is what i do guys and uh, i have you know i i believe only one thing there is no shortcuts on this planet if you wanted to be expert you need to be an expert there is no other ways you have to practice you have to share you have to talk to the people always uh, upgrade yourself you know news don't sit on simple whatsapp you know wasting your time you know forwarding some you know useless things avoid that if you are staying with people who are not giving you good energy stop avoid them and be with right people right minded people grow end of the day you have to grow yourself nobody will help you nobody will talk to you or nobody will hold your hand it's gone now you are you are already into this field you have if you wanted to see in in a very good level in next 5 years then you have to you know have a solid plan do that we not only teach etl or we know not only teach other we teach everything so sky is the limit and also we got new things from you all so thank you all for putting you know best asking questions calling us you know sharing your problems and trying to take help whatever we can do it but end of the day it is you who will get benefited so 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 i know manikanta was asking me the other day sir can somebody help me who is uh, in etl i need help i asked put that question in the group you have a good group ask put that question any question you have yes, ask in the group that, yes i put that yeah, question so, in the form yeah, but no ask, one responded that's no, why ask, I, I, I know i know money people are busy even you go you will not respond ask one more time i need your help the reason i am putting you right you reach me you ping ping me i may text you after a day or two but if you put in the group there are i i see there are a lot of good people who respond to right away try try one more time sorry and i know sorry i did not sorry i did not see that i mean who is into etl means he is asking the prakash help or anyone worked working on etl no 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 i what, mean what, 